let's break down the process of getting to Cuba. In addition to having your passport and your ticket, you will have to buy a visa. When you buy your ticket to Cuba, you have to provide a reason on why you're going to Cuba. I choose support the Cuban people to keep it simple. Cuba has limited internet access while you're out and about. If you get lost easily, maps.me. With this app, while you have internet service, download the country you're going to, and from then on, you can go to wherever you need to go without internet, as demonstrated above. My phone will be on airplane mode the whole time due to the fees T-Mobile charges for roaming in Cuba. or my bedroom she got me towels and stuff a coat rack there's a closet and then it's two beds in here and this is the window so let me show you the view from here much better view Let's close that oh jesus close that up this is el baño okay okay well it's the bathroom sink, toilet, toilet, or that the wrong language. You guys, I mix up my Spanish and my Creole all the time. I barely speak Spanish, so whenever I'm stuttering for words, I end up speaking Creole. I really do appreciate this room because it has a safe where I keep my money and my passport and stuff. And there's also a lock. She gave me the key. This Airbnb does have internet access, but you still have to get an internet card. The cards are one hour for $2 and how they work will be demonstrated above. Once the cards start, they cannot stop. I buy two cards per day. Want to inform my friends and family I'm okay in the morning and the night. What is the plan for today? Today, we're just gonna roam around Havana. I'm right in old Havana, so there's a lot of things that are super close to me, which makes me happy because I like convenience. Then after roaming old Havana, I'm gonna go to El Fabrica del Arte, which is art factory. But right now I need to change so I can go out in these streets. But I fixed my face. You see what, whatever was going on earlier was a lot. Never take all your money with you. Just because I exchanged $500 doesn't mean I'm gonna take $500 with me every day. It will be locked away in that safe. I'm only taking 60 right now, okay? Another travel safety tip. Keep that thing on you. Whatever that thing may be, keep it on you, okay? Cause I got pepper spray and I will, I will spray somebody if I have to. Let somebody try me, try me. I'ma spray him and his whole family. And I ain't playing on no part. And today's outfit is brought to you by Goodwill. Top is from Goodwill. Jeans are from Goodwill. This purse is either from Boohoo or Pretty Little Thing. And then my shoes are Nike Hirachis. Oh, speaking of shoes, please y'all bring some comfortable shoes, okay? Cause you're gonna be walking around. Real quick before I head out to eat and drink, there is a souvenir shop literally downstairs from this Airbnb. I asked the host, oh, where can I buy souvenirs? Like literally downstairs. <laughs> traveling tip especially by yourself do not get drunk know your limit why because you are alone and if you're a woman come on y'all
Just wanna show you guys what I got from that souvenir shop. All of this cost $10. And the person that was supposed to go with me on this trip, but unfortunately she couldn't, I got her a personalized genuine leather bag. But it's tradition to sign your name somewhere and take a picture by it. So that's what I'm about to do. Y'all, it's a street bar. Like literally, in the street. Um, bara, bara de calle. Bar en la calle. Oh. <laughs> Gracias. Gracias. Cuanto? Okay. So this was three dollars. Someone who lives in the Airbnb apartment building has been showing me around. She took me to this restaurant and because she's been showing me around and been really nice, I offered to pay for her meal. So this meal is going to cost a lot more than what you would pay. Hi. Just ordered a two dollar sangria at the bar and the girl with me also ordered something assuming i'd pay for it Today is the day where we're still gonna be in Havana, but we're gonna be going to a classic car tour. We're also going to go to the beach and we're also going to go try to do some rooftops tonight. Raul is my cab driver from last night. He will be picking me up this morning. And a quick outfit of the day. We're gonna keep it simple but colorful because we're gonna go to a car, a yellow dress from Forever 21. So yeah, that's all, this is all we're wearing. And then some basic yellow shoes from Forever 21. Please. This helps you. Oh, yeah. Thank you. This is the car, everybody. Yeah. <laughs> you want this CD? was founded uh, in 1519, so this year we are having our 500th anniversary. Oh, uh, that's a lot! Uh, this place, exactly, that we are staying right now, is called El Vedado. El Vedado? El Vedado, yes. Oh, so they took me to Revolution Square, everybody. I don't know if you can see with all the glare that's going on. Twentieth century, I forgot. 20th century? Yes, already growing, mm -hmm. and they they were afraid. The government were, was afraid that 
they were, you know, lose the forest inside of the city. So they built a natural park. What is, it, wait, what is it called again? Almendares. Almendares. Almendares River okay. Natural Park, Metropolitan Park of Havana. Oh, look that. That seems like an elephant. It's, oh, it does look like an elephant. Is that an elephant? Yes. Okay, Greenhouse is the first house ever built in Miramar. We're currently in Miramar. man stopped me and told me this place has free wi-fi if you order a drink or something like that but then he kept talking and wouldn't let me go and then i realized it was closed till 12. i'm not really doing anything right now it's like 11 o'clock so let's see what this is oh this is the first time i've been here all right everybody back to the place but we're not gonna stay too long actually let's go to el cafe Paris. Or Paris, let's go there. We are about to go to Santa Maria del Mar. Santa Maria del Mar is the beach. We're gonna go to the beach. I mean, it's January, it's freezing in Atlanta. I deserve to be on a beach. And let me show you my ba mama uh, ba -ba -ba bikini. Y'all, my taxi driver came out of nowhere, so we gonna do this quick. All right, uh, I got winter weight on me, don't judge me. Bikini is from Zafua, um, and this cover up is from Boohoo, okay? Bam, bam, all right, let's go. You guys, I was rushing for no reason. It turns out, so my taxi driver, of course, predominantly speaks Spanish, so there's a person next door to me who speaks Spanish and English. So apparently he didn't come to pick me up right away. He came so we can go next door to our neighbor and help translate what I wanted. But now that we're done rushing, I can actually give you a real breakdown of what I'm wearing. These shorts, I went to Goodwill, I grabbed some shorts and I made some high-waisted shorts out of them. Y'all see I keep a thing on me? <laughs> Spray somebody! And then these shoes. These are water sport shoes. I got these off of Amazon because Yes, I'm one of those people who don't really care to have my toes and everything in the sand. And that's it, you guys. Right now it's about one o'clock, I think. So I'm gonna chill for a little bit. It's about 2.58 right now. So let's go. Maria del Mar and it is beautiful. Currently under an umbrella. The umbrella and the chair was brought by a worker at the beach and you do have to pay for the umbrella to be set up with the chair. That was $4. A man just stopped by and offered me coconut water. The coconut water itself is $2. The coconut water mixed with rum is $3. And of course, I got the one mixed with rum. place I got my drink from earlier not the coconut drink but the rum and coke drink also serves food so this is pollo and you know just the basics we are gonna go to uh, El Flora, Florita, whatever. The popular bar that has the good daiquiris. Here is my outfit of the night. Cami crop thing from uh, Forever 21. My pants as well they're bell bottom. I'll just show you guys. They're bell bottom. Also Forever 21 shoes, Forever 21. You guys might see a pattern. I have a lot of thrifting and a lot of Forever 21 and a lot of Fashion Nova. Those are basically my clothes. This is actually from when I went to San Francisco. I went to Chinatown and there's a boutique called Kim Ono. Like not Kim Ono, but Kim Ono. I'll put the link below. But there is the outfit of the day, giving a little color. Oh, I was already chubby before I came here, but there goes that vacation weight. 
vacation away, baby. Now, tomorrow I'm supposed to be going to Varadero, pero I don't know if I want to still go or not because the taxi to get to the Azul or the bus, and then the bus to Varadero and then back and then the taxi back. You know, just kind of stretching my little coins, okay? We're gonna think about that tomorrow. La Florita or whatever was way too packed, looked in for a minute and walked out, didn't even get a drink. Next is La Monda Cubana. Beyonce ate at this restaurant, you guys. I'm Beyonce now. This restaurant is also known for its rooftop view. It's dark, so I know you can't see it that well. We are at El Malacón. Basically what people do here is just sit and chill. You guys can barely see me or anything actually, but this is El Malacón. And when I tell you the breeze is amazing out here, I can honestly sit here all night. And I officially decided that tomorrow morning I'm not going to Varadero. If I want to go to Varadero, I can go another time or the next time I come to Cuba. And I'm pretty sure I'm coming to Cuba again. But I'm still going to Trinidad, so. And just like that, we're back where the Airbnb is. On everything, I'm gonna have the strongest thighs, calves, toenails in the game after all these steps that I've been going up in Cuba. But I'm tired. I'm going to sleep in. Yes, we might get some breakfast, but for the most part, I'm going to sleep in. Hey guys, good morning. Let's go ahead and do this outfit of the day. This shirt is from Fashion Nova. And these bell-bottom pants, these bell-bottom pants are from Amazon. Yeah, I'm giving you guys 70s vibes, 70s. Bow. Bow, bow. Um, girl, oh, I Today, since I went completely off my itinerary, I'm just gonna wander around Havana. Right now, I'm hungry, so I'm gonna go to El Cafe. We, 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 don't, we don't wing it today. So I finally made it to El Cafe. Somebody was kind enough to show me how to get here. This is the American style pancake. It comes topped with bananas, carrots, and pineapples, also sprinkled with cinnamon. And on the side, I got a fresh fruit drink. I ordered pineapple and it tastes delicious. These cannot be American style because they taste better. So buttery and soft and cinnamony. While I was walking around, these random kids wanted to take a picture. That's not the first or second time that's happened to me while I've been in Cuba. I've decided to give Florita Bar another try since it's earlier in the day. It was definitely still packed, but this time, the doorman was nice enough to lock arms with me, walk me to the bar, grab me a seat, and tell the bartender to make me a drink. So I got my drink pretty fast. <laughs> Somebody asked me out tonight. Well, a couple of people asked me out, but one of them said he'd pay for the taxi and everything. And you know, of course, I'm more ears to that because I've been spending all my money by myself. Part of me is like, um, I don't know you. And I'm in a foreign country and I don't want to go. <laughs> I mean, I do want to go because why not? But I don't want to go with you because I don't know you. But then the other part of me is like, girl, you got pepper spray. And if I'm walking around with a man, less people will approach me and I'm kind of in the mood to not really be approached as much as I've been approached in these past couple days. Outfit for tonight. This was not supposed to be the outfit for tonight. I was actually supposed to wear this. This crop top yellow sweater, which would have been so cute together and a little like dressy casual, but it's hot. And I don't know what possessed me to put this outfit together for a night out, but I can't do it. So I'm wearing this shirt and this was supposed to be my girl I'm going back home shirt. My airplane shirt. My airplane shirt just gonna have to go with the, the skirt for the night. Well Charlene, your outfit don't have no pocket. Hey, you gonna protect yourself Charlene. You want to look at me. You know what? You know what? Is this a potato? So right now, somebody invited me out, y'all. He said he paid for everything, so I was like, okay. 
so the taxi he pulled up had a whole bunch of people in it and i was like sir where are we going but turns out it's just called a collective taxi which is basically an uber pool so the place is called la maison and we made it Morning, everybody. It is time for me to leave Havana. We're gonna go to Trinidad. It is about six something in the morning. The bus leaves at seven, so I need to go ahead and call Barul and get out of here. Super quick outfit of the day. This top, I cut up a little bit, but it's from a thrift store. It's not Goodwill. It's a thrift store somewhere in Marietta. The shirt underneath is the same white candy from Forever 21 that I wore, my same prescription glasses, and the same Goodwill shorts that I wore to the beach, along with my Nike Hirachis. Let's go, y'all. Of course, I missed my 7 a.m. bus, but Raul went ahead and got me a collective taxi to take me all the way to Trinidad. The taxis in Havana have this little TV. Do all taxis have that? Is that like a new taxi thing that I'm not aware of? I'm hungry. We're waiting on the next person to enter the taxi, so I got some time. Driving from Havana to Trinidad is kind of like driving from Atlanta to Savannah. Four hours, long and boring. I got dropped off in Trinidad. Apparently Trinidad is not too big. He was like, your Airbnb should be close. Let me go ahead and show you the Airbnb and put in that. Of course, there's the fridge. Inside is water that costs a dollar, soda that costs a dollar, and then beer that costs a dollar fifty. Here is the two bed. There's a TV in here that I won't be using. Um, a closet with some blankets. I don't know who they think them blankets is for because it is hot in Cuba, baby. Here's me. And then here is el baño, el baño bonito. So there's the shower. Drop dead gorgeous. Make me feel like I'm about to film a movie or something. And then there's the toilet. And then there's the sink. All right, Nuthini. Oh, wrong language. Plus, you have your Wi Fi card. The Airbnb has access to Wi Fi. I'm gonna walk over here to the balcony. Beautiful. Yet again, change of plans. I was gonna go to the waterfall, but the waterfall is about an hour away from here. And to get to the waterfall, hey, you need a car. And to get the car, you need to pay for it. And it's about $40. And I'm running low on funds because I already had to pay for all the cabs myself. I know I'm coming back to Cuba. I'm pretty sure we're gonna do this waterfall thing when I come back, but good news. And the owner of the Airbnb booked me a collective cab for tomorrow to take me straight to the airport and it's only gonna be $30. So I could skip the whole pay for the cab to the bus station, pay the $25 bus, pay for the cab to the uh, airport. I could skip that and I could just go straight to the airport. Shout out to him. Again, I will be putting the link to this Airbnb below, okay? And we are going to go explore Trinidad. So I'm not gonna go to the waterfall. Tengo tiempo antes I go to the discoteca Ayala. Look at me trying to practice Spanish. I heard there's a couple tours there, but oh well, I just wanna see what it looked like. I'm on the rooftop of my Airbnb location. It's not the highest point, but I can still see a little bit of the city. I booked a trip to this waterfall in Trinidad for $20. Um, apparently some food and everything's included. My Spanish is little and limited, so I was just going off what I heard. I had to buy a sombrero because I'll be on a horse with no shade and you guys know I don't like the heat. And because of my poof, this is what my hair look like. <laughs> this is the horse I'll be riding, y'all. Hola! I'm a little scared. I'm riding. <laughs> The horses brought us all the way over here. El restaurante Paradiso. They get sugar cane drinks with rum. So right now they're making the um, sugar cane drink with rum. I'm just gonna record the process. Oh my. 
Gracias. Tobacco, honey, and yeah. coffee. In the honey. You in the cigarro. You in the fermento de in the honey, mango, flower, uh, sumo limon, mm -hmm. aguardiente, y café. Yeah, One I year, un año, proce un proceso, la hoja. I got some coffee for my coworkers, and then I got some cigars that I don't smoke, but I got them. I'm off to a waterfall, not Las Vegas waterfall. That's the one I originally planned on going to. So I'm off to one of the local waterfalls, and we stopped at a certain point. Um, person that was driving the horse with me said, so, you know, I walked for about 10 minutes, and I should be at the waterfall, take a couple pictures, and he'll be waiting for me. You guys can tell I'm not a nature person. All I gotta say is bring some comfortable shoes. Shoes. Don't wear your flats or anything like that. Follow the gray stone road. Don't die. Follow the gray stone road. Hey, y'all, I'm scared. I found it. I was expecting just a little more. This will do because I couldn't go to the Vegas waterfall. My little pony, my little pony. Hey, where you going, bro? You know what? Your name? Tu llamas es Pearl. Okay, so the horse ride is done. Now I'm back. If I'm not mistaken, this is the tower where you can walk all the way up to the top and have a good view of the city. I'm gonna take a shower and then I'm gonna head back out. Okay, you guys, I ran out of outfit. I mean, I packed the correct amount, but the last night outfit that I have just doesn't go well with what's going on tonight. So I'm gonna wear what I wore the least, which is this top, these shorts, and of course my Hirachis. <laughs> So I heard about La Bojita on the internet and it's open 24 hours, so let's go in. They give you your check in this little treasure box. Let's get the outfit of the day. Forever 21 top. Jewelry that I bought, jewelry I bought from one of the souvenir shops and I bought a ring to go with it. These items right here are worn the hell out but I had no option. So, high-waisted Goodwill pant, Goodwill shirt, and then my Hirachi. <laughs> That is a cigar that I brought from Trinidad, Cuba. I don't smoke cigars, so I'm having my friend try it out for me. Oh, okay, we got a reaction. Oh, it's good. He said the same thing. Yeah, because a lot of these cigars be like, nah, nah, nah. <laughs> yeah, I be whooping your ass, be like, pow, pow. <laughs> 